talk a little bit more about resistance and specifically then talk about some of the tools that you have prescribed to play through this stuff because it is probably the single biggest blocker between us and our greatest you know creative achievements well if if uh if you've ever bought a um an abdominal machine or a treadmill and brought it home and found it collecting dust in the attic then you know what resistance is Resistance is that force, that negative force that stops us from doing the things we know we should. I always say that if, you, if you're starting at, the, at this level in terms of your soul and you're trying to go to a higher level, either morally, ethically, creatively, politically, what, that's when resistance will come in. It never comes in when you're going to a lower level. Um, and it just seems to be a force of nature. It, you know, and the thing of it is, nobody teaches you this in school. It should be almost the first thing that you're taught in your life, I think. But because you think, well, I want to write a book or I want to be a photographer. I want to start a podcast. I want to open a, you know, start a company or something that if the playing field is level. I'll just do it. But in fact, it's not level. It's really stacked against you. And it's stacked against you because of this force that's in your mind. And uh, everybody knows what it is. I, I've had, Chase, really, I've had probably 5,000 emails from people over the years. And people will say to me, the voice in my head is telling me this, that, you know, you're no good. Your, your idea is old. Everybody's been done. And it's always the same voice. It's not like each person has a different, it's the same voice. So... That's what resistance is. And my, I've, uh, I've tried a number of things to combat it myself in my own life. And what works for me, you said we can talk long, so I'm going to talk long here. Yeah, please do. Uh, People aren't here for the half version. They want, they want to go deep with Stephen Pressfield. What worked for me is the concept of turning pro, which is also a book of mine, the second book after the War of Art. And the concept behind that is that when we're falling prey to resistance, we procrastinate, we don't do the job, we get 99% of the way done and we quit, that sort of thing. It's very easy to blame ourselves, you know, and to say that we're weak or we're lazy or we're sick or whatever it is. And that's counterproductive. That doesn't do any good at all. But if we can think of ourselves and say, well, we're making a mistake and the mistake we're making is we're thinking and we're acting like amateurs. And the correction for that is to act like a pro. So what is an amateur and what is a pro? An amateur is like a weekend warrior, is a dabbler, is somebody that's sort of halfway in and halfway out. So that, let's say you're trying to write a book. Let's use that as an, as a, as an, as a, an example here. An amateur, when, it, when she or he first hits adversity, will quit, will bail out, right? If... Uh, self-doubt, whatever it is comes in and it's too strong, they'll just bail out. But if we can sort of flip the switch in our mind and just say to ourselves, I'm a pro, I'm a professional, I'm going to think like a professional. And when I hit adversity, a professional just digs in. Think about Michael Jordan, think about Kobe Bryant, think about Tom Brady, think about anybody like that, that you just know is never going to quit. And, and uh, another thing about a professional is Professional plays hurt. I'm thinking now of athletes, right? You, If we wait as artists or entrepreneurs for the day when we're, quote unquote, injury free to do our job, we're never going to do it, right? We're, there's always something wrong. There's always something in our lives, our personal lives, our professional lives, whatever, that we could use as an excuse to not do the work. And so to think of ourselves as a professional, say, if I were a professional, would I stop because of this force? And the answer is always no, there's no way I'm going to stop. So that's what really helped me. And then this new book I have out, we, I'm sure we'll get into that soon, or it's coming out. It's, uh, it's called Put Your Ass Where Your Heart Wants to Be. And that's kind of another way of getting over resistance. In that case, we, we could talk about that if we want to, but basically the gist of it is, Put your body in the spot where you where your soul wants to be and things will start to work.